I always interesting in cooking because I love to eat. There's no better ambassador for Chinese cooking than Eileen. She's a petite ball of fire. Eileen has been called in the New York Times the Cantonese Julia Child. Julia never said, here's a shorter way to do things. Julia said, you want to cook right? Then I have a four-page recipe, follow it. And that's what Eileen does. This is my whole life experience, and that's how I teach people how to cook. Her qualification as not only a, a great Chinese chef, but as a teacher is maybe unparalleled. Among chefs who know, she's the ultimate Chinese cook. When I go to Chinatown to do shopping, it's almost like a try in a candy store. Every month, every day, you get new ingredients. When Eileen goes shopping in Chinatown, I follow her around and I just bathe in her knowledge. She puts together recipes with ingredients that she knows you can find. You might have to go to a shop that you're not used to going to, which is part of the adventure. I tell people how to buy the ingredient, how to store it, how to use it. So you would never buy the wrong ingredient. That is very, very, very important. Then she takes you into the kitchen. She'll be at this huge walk, and next to her there will be or oh, maybe a dozen containers with different ingredients. And there's this beautiful rhythm. This will come in, this will come in, this will come in. And you just watch it. And it's this lovely ballet, and the hand never stops moving. And all of a sudden, the dish is done. As James Beard said, a la minute. Tradition is extraordinarily important to her. She preaches tradition, she does tradition. I bring it back. The old classic, and I think if I don't bring it back, and this may be total loss, because the new generation in this country do not know enough about the old dishes. And this is one of my favorite dishes. Chinese cooking and its heritage really brings a totally different view sometimes to the way you look at food. The balance of sweet, sour, salty, uh, spicy in one particular dish is a microcosm of a philosophy. In a lot of ways, there's more flavor in Chinese food and there's more kind of excitement than a lot of other cuisines, maybe all cuisines. And it's not just something that tastes good. It's I'm eating a little bit of history. My grandmother always say, you, you know how to cook, you, you eat better, and good food is good health.